Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mom's View. It is me, Colette, today. I hope you guys saw our turkey day wrap video that we put up last week and the behind the scenes video. If you didn't, we'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can go check that out. That was a lot of fun to film <laughs> and a lot of fun to watch later too and laugh at yourself. So, um, But today, I wanted to say happy Thanksgiving week. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, that is wonderful. And if not, this video is still for you. I just wanted to give you guys a little piece of advice that I have been learning lately. And as I have talked about before, I feel like I've been going through this radical change in perception of life over the past year. And I am anxious and excited to take you guys a little bit more into that journey that I've been going on in my mind. <laughs> Um, recently, I've been reading a lot of books by Gabby Bernstein, and this most recent one, this is not a brand deal, but this is the book I'm reading right now. It's a, it's called May Cause Miracles, and it's a 40-day guidebook to basically a happier you. Um, and I'm on day eight, and I'm loving it. It's been a blessing in my life. But this week has been focused on self-love. And, um, <laughs> I'm already getting emotional. I was thinking about this a lot today, about what I wanted to say, because I realized that moms, um, women, teenage women, girls, like, and men, of course, as well, but, you know, I'm a woman, so I'm thinking it from a woman's perspective, but we, we have this tendency to care about other people, and in the process of caring about other people and uplifting our friends and our loved ones, we are still internally and sometimes externally tearing ourselves down. And I know <laughs> that we all do it. And I, I think it starts somewhere in the teens. I don't know, when you're just kind of going through through so much change, you don't really know who you are and like, you know, calling yourself fat and looking in the mirror and just thinking you're not good enough. Not, I mean, come on guys, we have a list, right? You could make a list of all the things that you tell yourself in your mind that make you not good enough. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, I do it. I've done it for a long time and I've, I've consciously made an effort um, throughout the years to not do it, especially outwardly, especially when I had daughters. I thought, okay, I need to speak better about myself because I don't want my daughters to talk the way, talk to themselves the way that I talk to myself, you know? Myself, because <laughs> I have a lot of selves. <laughs> um, basically, that's, that's what I've been thinking about is, what is this? Why do we hate ourselves? <laughs> Why do we tear ourselves down? And I thought, sometimes I feel like if I'm too nice to myself, then I'm being selfish or prideful, and that's looked down upon, I don't wanna do that. But there is a balance that I think we need to realize that in this book it says, um, she quotes from A Course in Miracles, which is another book that I've been reading a lot, it says, when we attack ourselves, we attack the world. When we love ourselves, we are loving the world. And I was thinking about that and I thought, it's so true. How can we really shine and give the world everything we've got and love with all of our hearts if we don't love ourselves? You cannot fully love your friends, your family, anybody around you until you deeply and completely can love, forgive, and accept yourself. And that has been my journey and that's my advice to you today, is in this week of gratitude and thanksgiving and family and friends and love and reaching out, the main person I want you to reach out to is yourself. I want you to forgive yourself. Anything that's in your heart, anytime those words come up in your mind that tell you you're not good enough, flip them around and speak new words to yourself. Even if you don't believe them, start talking internally and externally, new words to yourself. I love myself. I am good enough. I am beautiful. I am important. I am lovable. I am worth having my desires. Please flip the self-talk from hatred to love. That's my advice for you today. And especially with this holiday season, I was thinking about mothers because we do have a tendency to feel like, Oh my goodness, the holidays are here. We've got to get all the right presents. We've got to have our house beautifully decorated. We've got to make sure we make cookies for all the neighbors. Oh my goodness, all this stuff. And we get so lost. We lose ourselves. And we don't feel joy. We don't feel happiness. We don't feel the love of the season. 
and we lose ourselves. My goal for this holiday season is to simplify and to love and to not hate and to not loathe and to not despair, but to reach in and find the simple joys, the simple things about ourselves that we can embrace and love. And I know for many of you, this may be a very hard task to actually say kind words to yourself, but I challenge you to do it. Anytime that negative voice comes in, flip it, push it out, and put a new voice in there, okay? All right, that's my advice to you today. I genuinely love you guys, and I love myself. I'm grateful for my body, I'm grateful for this time of year, and for family and loved ones, and I'm grateful for this journey that I've been on, and I'm grateful to be able to share some of it with you. So please take my advice, and say kind words for, to yourself today and to your loved ones, and we'll see you guys on Thursday. Happy Thanksgiving week. Bye.